let's explore your first parent and child relationship. Well, here we've got a common setup. We can see our outer padding, max width, we've got our inner padding, and then our component. Okay, so what we're going to do now is look at this child and its positional element on the page. We're actually going to put it as a headline down at the bottom of the page. So let's look at our parent first of all. And so we can see these frames a little better. Let me just change the gradient. Okay, so we can see this is our uh, max width frame. Let's go and have a look in the frames area. We've got max width. Well, I did allude to before on max width that you don't always need a max width on the page. So just because we haven't looked at this yet, I'm actually going to remove it. If I wanted to add it, I'll click the add a frame on the outside and I could then go and change this at any time to a max width, okay? So we can actually use the minus icon to get rid of it. So here now we have a classic parent and then its child. So let's explore. Well, here you can see is our outer padding set as normal. And now this is the first thing I want you to learn. When we're talking about parent and child in any relationship, we need a fixed height. It's not a minimum height. I'll show you why just in one second, okay? First, I want to draw your attention to this child height devices area that's grayed out. But if I click into the child, it lights up. Okay, so the system knows already that we've got a parent and a child. Just always works. When we've got a fixed height, that means we can have a child. If this isn't a fixed height, then this cannot be a child. And this is because what I'm going to show you now. Well, look, it's lit up and it says child height percentage. If I move it down to 100%, it moves it to the bottom of the page. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is a percentage width, a percentage height of this fixed height. That's why it has to be fixed because the child height is a percentage. And this isn't just the mobile platform. This is how CSS and markup on the internet works. Okay, so this is all websites. So this is our child height. This is our child with a percentage height. And this is our parent with a fixed height. So that's the, the lesson number one. And if you're troubleshooting, why isn't the child height? Why isn't the child percentage lighting up? It's because the parent isn't a fixed height. So let's make this look a little, little bit better and a, a little bit more pronounced. So we'll go to our um, child frame here and let's give it a, a color. We could give it a full color, but in this case, we're going to give it um, a background. But what we'll actually do, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll do a little, little bit different. We have been using this gradient at 130, haven't we? Okay, um, so what we'll do here is combine this with um, an overlay. And what we can do is we could potentially change the percentage width here um, if, if we would like to so that we can explore the gradient angle but for now because I'm working with 130 I'm going to keep it at 130 okay now this has got opacity in it meaning you know it's a percentage of 40 percent meaning if this was a background image we can see through it so some people on headlines don't like to always just use gradient they'll just use a straight opacity so you know and you can make it light and dark in this case i'm combining opacity with uh, a pretty cool gradient okay so we're going to come back to this in a moment so what we've got now is our parent and our child while we're in here we know that this is going to be a headline so it's in a banner so it's most likely to be heading one so i could put it in style one but i know my content users are going to have all different lengths of lengths of text so i'm going to gamble there and make it a logical style three. I'll actually put an arrow in there because this is, so let's go to our insert icon tool and I could type in arrow, which you can see this is my arrows here is our right, but I could also type in right and there's our arrow. Now, if I wanted to color this in, let's say pink, I wouldn't highlight with the space. I'm only going to highlight the actual arrow itself. We're going to keep our markup nice and clean. This is a masterclass. OK, so now we've got our nice headline for SEO. It's a H1 in style three with an arrow. OK, so now let's explore a little bit further. So I'm going to go to my child and I'm going to change its width. OK, but I could also change its height. OK, so I can start to change the position in here with the width. Look at this. I could put it into the center. I'll flip this over and I could also put it to the right. 
So I can con control the positional element now within that parent and child. But in this case, we're going to put a headline down at the bottom of the page. So we'll make it 100% width. Okay. And then what we'll also do is make it 100% height. So the first troubleshooting, why isn't it at the bottom? Okay. Well, this is because the parent has got padding in. So you're just thinking logically all the time. So there we have our first headline. So now let's do a bit of troubleshooting. And what I'm going to do is have a look at our beautiful headline banner here on mobile. So we'll preview this on the mobile. And this is weird. Here's our banner. You can see it here at the top. This is the form from the footer. But why is this banner not the fixed height? We've set this fixed height to 700. So logically now, let's go to the parent and see why that isn't 700. So in the frame, let's go down to our 700. And look below it, it says fixed height devices. This is desktop only. So that's strange. Why would desktop only be default? Right? Why would on the mobile platform desktop be default? Surely you would want that fixed height on all devices. Okay, I'm going to put it on all devices. And now I'm going to go to mobile to have a look at what we've got. Okay, well you can see now it's on all devices. We've got our 700 pixels. But now two things are weird. One, why is desktop only default? And two, this is our headline here. Why is it at the top? when we've got the child height to 100% at the bottom. Well, let's explore the child height first. Troubleshooting, we're exploring child height, so let's go to child. Okay, and we're in frame, and we'll go to height. Okay, so now you can see that we've got our child height at 100%, but this is also desktop only. Again, so why is desktop only the, the default? Well, let's just humor ourselves here. Let's put it to all devices. Okay, and then, then let's go and see mobile. Okay, great. So now we've got our 700 pixels and we've got our headline that is now 100% on the bottom. Um, so we've got a parent at 700 and a child with 100% bottom. That's pretty cool. So why, what's going on? Why have mobile decided to make desktop only the default? Okay, well, quite often, you have got a child with lots of content. So imagine if my content on mobile was greater than the height of 700 pixels. What would happen? If a content editor just goes and puts that in and hasn't done this advanced masterclass, then they're never going to know that. So we always want their content to work. We always want to display all the text all the time. Very simple, right? But let's go and explore this and show you this visually. So what we'll do now is just go and put in a lot of text in here. So I'm just gonna paste in um, some text. I'll hit this and put in a paragraph. And just so we can see what's at the very top of the page, I'm gonna make this one um, we'll make it the sky blue so it really stands out, okay? And actually we'll make this second one sky blue so we can see where that is. And I'm going to here. So we, the, the content user now has just put in a whole bunch of text. So much so that there's more text even than what's on the desktop. They've just grabbed a whole bunch of text and they've pasted it in. And we've got a six height and now everything's freaking out. So much so I can't even see my tools. I can't even see my frame tools. They've gone up, up, up the page because the frame is set to 700 pixels. So this is where we've got our expand feature. Okay, so that expands that. So what I'll do here is just take out some text, right? And we'll just make it a little bit nicer, um, easier on the eye. So here we've got this now. Um, our, our child is at 700 pixels. So let's have a look at this on mobile, right? Let's have a look at this on mobile. Okay, well look, we're missing that main headline. And that's obvious now, isn't it? Because we've got a fixed height on mobile of 700 and we've got more content than 700. Okay, so, and it's also set to 100% at the bottom. So it's pulling it to the bottom. So 
we've got two ways to fix that. Now, I would always say, let's start with the child at this point. Okay, so with the child, we want to say the child height, let's only put that on the desktop only. Okay, so that's basically going to sort out that positional. So let's first of all go and look at the child with child height set to desktop only. And you can see our title is now at the top. So at least we've got the text at the top of the page. But if we look closely, all the text is overflowing <laughs> over this form. So we've got a fixed height, but the child is now no longer 100% at the bottom. It's at the top and it's just rolling down all the way. So now we know that on the parent, we need to make the parent not 700 pixels fixed high on mobile, but we do want it to be 700 pixels high on the desktop. So obvious now, we'll make that desktop only and we'll go and preview this. And that is why mobile always set desktop only as the default because we don't know on a on the content management system side of things how much content all of our clients and all of their teams is going to use in this instant so we work with a probability that basically says at least you'll always be able to see the text that they put in there right they'll always see the text even if it's just a short headline okay so that's why we want the default to be desktop only so all you need to do now is basically say, if there's a lot of text, it's desktop only. If there's not a lot of text, then child height all devices and the fixed height all devices. So all you're thinking is the fixed height is the less text than the fixed height. So I'll just say that again. If there's a lot of text, it's most likely to be desktop only. And if it's not a lot of text, it's most likely to be all devices. So in this case, we're building a banner with a headline with not a lot of text. So we're gonna take that out and we now know what we're gonna do here. Well, we want this to be fixed height on mobile too because we're always gonna see that text. So let's go and make that on all devices with that fixed height. And let's look at the child. And we want that to be on the bottom, always on all devices. So there is your first parent and child relationship. Now, one last FAQ I sometimes get at this point is when there's only one lot of padding on the page, such as here, we've only got inner padding, we haven't got outer padding, how does our bot know what to do? Well, let me just tell you that in this instance, this would be the inner padding. So if you had your inner padding set on the bot to 16 pixels, drag this in, it would change it to 16 pixels. So let me show you what I mean. Over to layouts, let's go over to our bot. If the outer was 64 and inner uh, was 16, in this case, it would just change this from 32 to 16. It would know it was the inner padding. So the algorithm works from the bottom up in this case, in case you're wondering. So all you need to know is it just works. Now, the second thing I should say is this wouldn't be a masterclass if I wasn't encouraging you to save your layouts and capitalize on your work. So in which case, we could click the pencil icon here, put this back to our blue and save this. In this case, I would call it something like banner, headline, gradient now we could capitalize on that further I could clone this and now I could say for this one I would want a banner headline with a background image 